What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and this video is going to be a little different because I haven't made a video response like this in a long time since I did one about like where this photographer tried to say that cell phones are better than DSLR entry level whatever. I did like one giving my opinions on that but i like to do another one. I didn't really look at his response but I've been seeing stuff like this pop up everywhere where Seth Rogen said that no one's made a good high school movie since Superbad. Now, that's a movie I need to get for my collection. Superbad was a fun time movie. Absolutely loved it. But I'm going to give my opinion so that way I can hear your opinion too because I think he's completely false. So I'm going to get into it by giving my opinion about the fact that no one's made, and he flat out said, no one has made a good high school movie since Superbad. Well, okay, the first one I would like to bring up and talk about is, I'm sorry if my face is all red and all that, I just got back from the gym and I was listening to things online and all that, and this got brought up to spark the point of the video. Now, Superbad, I think, was like 2007 or 2008 or something like that. So, to say that no good high school movie ever since. Well, first one I'd like to bring up, 21 Jump Street. <laughs> Did my voice crack there? Oh my gosh. 21 Jump Street. Great movie. Not just a good movie, but amazing. I absolutely loved it. The chemistry between them two, it was hilarious to this day. I keep watching it over and over and over. And I have a fun time with it to this day. So, there's one down. Okay, the next three I want to bring up, they were so close together on my shelf. So, the first one, an underrated movie. And this movie, in my opinion, I thought it was great. Underrated. The Duff. This movie was a good one. Why does no one really talk about this movie? Maybe no one has like seen it like the way that a lot of other people have, but great movie. Next one up, Easy A. Another great high school movie. And a lot of people like to talk about her movies a lot, Emma, but this one gets thrown under the radar and this one doesn't get enough praise. And this one right here, this one was really, really good. The Edge of 17. Another great high school movie. If you haven't seen this one, I said, if you haven't seen any of these, I suggest watching them all. But I would probably go with The Edge of 17 first. This one was a, a straight up great movie. One I haven't seen before, and I heard a lot of good things about it. I think it was called like Book Smart, the one that Olivia Wilde directed, or did she write it? I can't remember, but I haven't watched it yet. But there's another one that gets a lot of praise. But this one right here, I thought this was a good high school movie. Lady Bird. I mean, this one was good. Another one that I absolutely love, and I saw some comments and people naming off a couple movies here and there, but some of these I didn't see much people talking about. But this one right here, in my opinion, I think I can count this as a high school movie because there was quite a few scenes in the high school and they were all high schoolers in the movie. But man, do I love this movie. Jennifer's body. This is another one that I actually love to quote all the time, but unfortunately a lot of people miss out on my quote and they're like, what is that from? This, I love Jennifer's body. This one right here took me a while to see because I kept forgetting about it and forgetting about it every time I was like, oh yeah, that movie, let me buy it. I forgot about it again, but when I finally got it, I was actually surprised on how long it took me to get it because I'm like, that was a fun movie. But yet again, another good movie, after Superbad, Project X. Okay, this movie might not be one of the best of the best with honors, but I will say I enjoyed it, but I was like, is it considered like a high school movie? I looked it up on Google, and sure enough, it was one of the ones that popped up in it. Chronicle. May not be as good as something like Superbad, but I still thought it was good. Now, this was one that actually surprised me because I thought it wasn't going to be funny at all, and I ended up finding it for, like, dirt cheap at a Walmart dump bin, which I guess I should upgrade to a Blu-ray because it was better than what I thought and had me laughing quite a few times, which is Blockers. I thought it was pretty good. This is no means of disrespect toward him because I personally love Seth, and if he was even... I know it would never happen, but if by chance that he even seen this, I would say that I love that dude so much and I would love to praise him about his movie Neighbors that is absolutely one of my favorites that I love watching all the time, quoting all the time, and if there was a way I could see him, I would say, like, you created a masterpiece, in my opinion, with this movie. I loved quoting it at work, but I stopped because no one was getting it, but I love the dude. 
I'm not meaning this any disrespect, and you might have a list. That's the point of this video, to let me know in the comments below of a high school movie after Superbad that I might not have named off. But, here's one thing. What is your favorite high school movie of all time? If you watch my channel, you know what mine is already, because it is my favorite movie of all time. Not just high school, it's Days to Confused. But, another question. You can put them all in the description description I mean in the comments below of your favorite high school movie of all time and the next question what are some of your favorite high school movies that gets no praise at all that you don't see I got a few right here then I'll end the video my four that choices right here I'm still waiting on a blu-ray release for the region a I think another country got it but it won't play on our blu-rays just friends everyone talks about Ryan Reynolds but they forget that this was one of his best movies I loved just friends Next one up, another one that needs a Blu-ray release and no one knows about it until I bring it up to him like, you haven't seen it? Sugar and Spice. This movie was fun. And another one, I don't think it's been on Blu-ray. Maybe I should do some research, but if so, I'm picking it up. But another underrated high school movie, John Tucker Must Die. And another one, it gets here and hit and miss here and there. But another movie that I love that doesn't get enough praise jawbreaker so let me know yours the questions once again were what's your favorite high school movie of all time and under underappreciated high school movies let me know in the comments below once again no disrespect to them i'm just giving my opinions of a good movie after super mad super bad i can't talk i'm just hungry after the gym but anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video i'll check you later